wait. So this is how I wish I came up with the idea, but I didn't. I was on YouTube and Instagram. I just saw something similar to it. I thought it's a pretty simple project. I have the parts. Why not make a tutorial for it and just show people how it's made? It's a great introduction to coding and electronics. So let's get at it. So this is the photoresistor. This is what detects the light. In this video, I wish these beautiful nails were mine, but they are actually my girlfriend. And they are um, just putting some heat shrink and we soldered underneath to extend the terminals of the photoresistor just to make it easier to tape to the screen. <laughs> this is what it looks like after the solder and the heat shrink. Pretty strong, just some breadboard wire sawed to it. Here's an overview of the circuit. Looks pretty cool. And there's a circuit diagram for everyone. And after that, you tape it to the screen right where the dinosaur is going to come through the road. So here's a demonstration. This robot does pretty good. Once the game starts speeding up a robot, it doesn't have enough time to react and press the space bar. On the terminal there, you can see the light values. So here's what the code looks like. This is written in the Arduino IDE. So first we include the servo library at the top, and then we have a photoresistor pin defined, and we also have a servo pin defined. So both of these are the pins that connect to each of the elements on the Arduino. And then we have the serial begin 9600. This pretty much allows us to communicate with the values that are seen at the bottom of the screen. And then we have the connection. And right here is how we get the value that is at the photoresistor. So it assigns it to the value, sensor value. And this will be an integer. We can see these being printed out at the bottom with those print statements. And then we have a simple if conditional. So if the value of light is less than 50, then we tell it to activate the servo or just press the spacebar. So in the case of the game, it would be if there's an obstacle, which is dark, the light value would be less than 50. Other than that, don't or move the servo back to zero. Thanks for making this far. Uh, I hope you guys learned something and this project's great. I'd recommend putting it on a resume as just an introduction to electronics and coding. I'd see it be beneficial for both sides. It would give you a basic understanding and it'd be a project you can easily talk about and build upon. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, thank you.